Hello everyone. So today we are going to do a buffet review of Hokkaido. Well, I'm sorry, I hope I said it right. Hokkaido Buffet in Long Beach, California. We figured we do this one because it's right off the 405. Um, and Cherry. Yeah. Right off the 405 in Cherry in Long Beach. It's not that far from Long Beach Airport, and it's not like that far from the cruise port. Um, it's gotten good reviews. Um, I'll go ahead and put up the the menu here. Or, no, wait a minute. I'll put the menu right here because it's a better spot, right? Okay, so these are the business hours. I also have a dining special, I guess. I'm really curious to see how this is going to come out because it's an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet and I haven't really been here before. So, the door is open. I don't even know if we can go in yet because the open light ain't on yet. I'm going to be respectful and wait till 11. See y'all then. Falling leaves, autumn breeze reminds me of when I was 17. We would walk by the frozen creek, exchanging looks and more secrets.
about you. Now I forgot what you had. You had all kinds of stuff in here, huh? Mm. Shrimp, beef, chicken. Two different types of chicken meat. Yep. One with just leg meat, and one with just a uh, uh, with like a fillet piece. Okay. How is it? It's good. With some green onions. That's all. Good. Right. Yes. It's good. good. Here's the fried rice. Mmm. 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 That fried rice is a different flavor than I've ever had. It's good too. A lot of green onion. Pretty good. Um. Oh my, that's that's very tasty. That's very tasty. Now I'm gonna try the beef broccoli. Broccoli. This is good stuff. It's very tender. It's very flavorful. Now, I know y'all, I talk about my citrus allergy all the time, but I am a sucker for orange chicken. So let's see. I got a lot on this plate, my boy. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's a big old piece of chicken. Sorry, y'all. This garnish chicken is very flavorful. It's mildly spicy. Um, it's really good. It's really good. Then they have some seafood noodles. It's good, but it's spicy, y'all. And I'll say it's spicy. It's spicy, y'all. Y'all know I don't do no spice. So now here's the wonton, the all important wonton for my daughter. Now, I am a cheese wonton connoisseur, right, babe? Right. Plates and plates and plates of them. I will go to a good buffet. They got some good ones and just sit there and eat that all day long with some salad. Let me tell you something. These are the best I've had in years. And in years. Of all the places we go to, these are the best one times I've ever had. I got this dry fish, clam, seafood, noodle. Udo, yes, I had and that. And a uh oh, he's about to get into it, y'all. <clears throat> the clowns first. Yeah. You gotta check the citrus level for me. I already have orange chicken. I can't push it. I don't really take no citrus in it. Okay. But the flavor is good. <laughs> it's not super, super right. chewy or nothing. Now, I don't see what this dry fish is all about. I don't know what kind of fish it is. I still don't know what kind of fish it is, but it's all right. It looks like it's gonna be dry, but it's really not dry. The seasoning. I'll be seasoning then. I still can't. I can't tell you what all kind of seasonings they use. But They're good. It's good though. No, I'm good. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. It is a bun. With just bread? It's got something in it. <laughs> you just basically, um, yeah. Just, well, you would, yeah, you can. Mm hmm. That's a bean bun, yeah. It's a bean bun. She yeah. might have like meat. It's just small piece of Not a fan? Oh, it's just like sweet potatoes. Oh. Oh, I like it. <laughs> 
<clears throat> wow. Our seafood is good though. Yeah. I mean, the seafood um noodle noodle mm -hmm. They're real good. They're really good. Okay, well, I'm up for my next plate. Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. You mean they not they still got a crunch a good crunch to them? Cook good, no seasoning on them though. We're gonna have to put something in them. I'm gonna put a little soy sauce on mine and give it some flavor. Mm. And that lemon. Okay. That's the pepper beef, right? Yeah, it says spicy. So. Yeah, it says spicy, so I ran away. <laughs> as fast as I could go. That's my little short legs to carry me. Mm. Let me get in there, darling. Yeah, welcome back. It's spicy. But it's more of a creeping on your spot. Okay. You, you would eat a couple of pieces and think it ain't spicy and all of a sudden it'll kick back on you. Okay. Now, the chicken. Let's see. Already enough. That's enough. That's enough. It's not cooked all the way. And no, I'm not trying it. All right, beware. <laughs> you gonna beware? Don't be cooking. Let's try another piece. Maybe that just I got the wrong piece. Maybe we're gonna lucky in life on that one. I can't see the inside. That one looked like it had something getting ready to drip out of it. Wow. Okay. Probably was grease, but uh. That one not any better. Yeah, it cooked a little bit better. But not all the way. Yeah, this one's cooked all the way. Okay. That's just I guess a bad piece. Somebody was in a hurry. Maybe it was just at the top. We don't know. Mm. But it's good. Okay. Look flavor and everything. With that piece, I guess they just didn't want to cook it all the way. Here is my plate. I have this is a tofu skin right here. Um, there we go. So here's a tofu skin right here. That's that. And here is the fried banana, of course, the wonton I love. And then here's my soy sauce and wasabi. I've never tried this. It's topped with a little bit of seaweed, which I just tried a little of. You see it on my plate. And it was pretty dang going tasty. I actually liked it. And they have a seaweed, some more stuff that has seaweed with it. So I might go back and get some more of that. But this this wrapper thing, I would use the chopsticks, but my hand is hurting today. So I'm gonna try it, just dip it with my hand. I'm not supposed to really do that, but I'm gonna try it that way. Here it is. I'm glad I did use it because it's a little sweet. No opening. I don't need no soy sauce. Another banana. Fried banana. That was a boatload of oil. <laughs> I'm not a fried banana fan. I love bananas. I just found out right now. I don't like them fried. Y'all see that? No. That's a no-no for me. Oh my God, that's a no-no. That would have me so sick. This thingy on the other hand, I thought I, I thought I would need soy sauce with it, but it's actually on the sweet side and it's pretty good. Um, it's cold. It's, it's good. It's like having sweet rice. Sweet cold rice. Mm. Interesting. And what do you have on that plate there, dear? Pineapple, which come out of a can. Probably. It did. That's because I was about to tell them something that wasn't fresh pineapple. Oh, okay. These peaches definitely come out of a can. Oh, God, I wish I could eat a peach. Uh-huh. And I don't know what the uh, little shrimp salad. 
shrimp and salad looks like it has cucumber, shrimp, mm -hmm. red onion, lettuce, mm -hmm. light dressing. Mm -hmm. mm. Zucchini. Zucchini, okay. That was on the menu for tonight anyway, was zucchini. Tomatoes, cilantro, uh -oh. cilantro. Okay, so that's his cue to tell me to stay away from it because I'm not going to eat it. It has cilantro on it. And a whole lot. A whole lot? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay away from that, but I'm going to take your word for it. I might want to stab a piece of shrimp over there, but I won't even because <laughs> you got a lot of cilantro that means it all tastes like cilantro. Yes, everything you pick up. Oh, wow. No, oh, thank you. Okay. I think whatever dressing they use, the corn with the sauce. Might be a cilantro mm -hmm. kind of base Use dressing. Oh. Base. Okay. Okay. All right, everyone. So we just came back from eating at Hokkaido <laughs> Seafood Buffet in Long Beach, which is right off the 405 and Cherry Avenue. Now, who's to say? I know a lot of people think Vegas has all the great buffets and stuff like that but this is actually truly a really good buffet so right now we're going to give you our overall opinion you want to start yes well my overall opinion is it, it don't look like much from the outside but once you go into the inside you're very happy that you did go in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have bad smell. Mm -mm. You don't walk in smelling four or five different kind of aromas all hitting in the nose at one time. The yep. food is fresh. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, the one, the first thing I noticed when we went in was that we didn't have any of that. How do you say, like old grease, old carpet smell, like you sometimes get. Like, I don't know if he was to go into a Norm's, Norms or Denny's or something like that, that older smell, right? There yeah, was old no oil. smell. Am I right? No. No smell, no smell. The way the buffet is laid out is odd. I'm gonna tell you that. Because it's like on the far end of the restaurant is where it's like the, the fruits and vegetables are right here in this very small area. And then you have ice cream and candy. Candy, not something you usually see at the buffet, but they literally had like different suckers. Yeah, and different kind of suckers. Yeah, yeah, so candy. And then next to that, you have like the sashimi and the sushi. Then you have desserts. Then you have, so it's kind of opposite of the, I went opposite way on the video. So when you come into the front door, you're immediately right there by the hibachi grill. I didn't do the hibachi as you can see on the video, but what was your overall take for that? The hibachi grill was real good. They come over there, the guy fries the food and everything up for you. Very good. I don't know what sauces and what seasonings he put on it, but whatever he put on it, he put the right stuff. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and yes, you may, okay, so the, the hibachi grill. Um, my husband doesn't eat sushi or sashimi <laughs> or anything like that. Nah. But the rolls, they had a good number of rolls and I didn't get, only got like a couple because I don't eat a lot and there is a reason for that. Um, I don't think I've ever shared that. Mm, no. No? You think I should share it? On another video. Mm, okay, well be on the lookout for that video. I'll share why most of our food videos have to have at least a second person in it. Why do you take your glasses off? Because I'm got tired of trying to fight the glare. So, okay, well, he's gonna get to look at all my beautiful eyes. Aren't they so sexy? <laughs> I love that man. But anyway, so um, Hokkaido, I would definitely do it again. Like, that is someplace yeah. we're going to take the girls. Like, and you yeah, guys will get the girls' opinion yeah. when we take them. Take so, we'll do teenagers. a second video with the whole family. We take our teenagers, not much teenagers for very long. Um, so, yeah, um, my take on it is that it, number one is a great place to go. Especially if you're in town for a cruise and you're leaving out of Long Beach, it's very, if you're driving, it's a lot easier to get to. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a lot cheaper, you know, depending on where you're staying at. If you're yeah. staying near the port, it might cost you a bit of money to take a Lyft or Uber to get there. Yeah, but if you're driving. Mm -hmm. But right here, I'm going to put right here, right here is the distance between uh, the port and Hokkaido Seafood. Doesn't look like much. If you drive too fast, you're gonna go past it and gonna be on the freeway before you know it. But 
The staff, amazing. They were nice. They were quick to pick up the plates. Yeah. Very friendly. Um, they refilled your drinks like constant, you know. Um, what else? The food was fresh. The, the, the food was very fresh. The place was clean. Yes, even clean. the raw the raw chicken with the uh, raw beef, they, they kept everything separate with nothing cross-contaminated. That is an issue that we did have with the, yeah. the hibachi grill. So if you do have any type of seafood allergy, you don't want to get anything from the hibachi, hibachi grill because yeah. they don't necessarily clean between the two. Yeah. I'm sure if you told them, you know, you can't have that, they might clean the grill and then do yours separate. But if you have a really bad allergy, I wouldn't. Yeah, if you have a bad allergy to uh, shellfish or anything. You like that, yeah. Um, the other thing is the seafood soup now, y'all. My system is very sensitive. I didn't even get a quarter of a spoonful of it, and it upset my stomach horribly. And I'm gonna put it, the picture of it right here, I'm gonna show you, right here, look at it. It is oil. I had it. My husband tried it. It's just a big, just a bowl of oil. With some seafood in it. Yeah, with some seafood in it, but. I should've stick with the miso soup. I'll try to do something different. Yeah. Try something different. No. Um, that's the only thing I didn't like. Um, what was it that you didn't like? You said there was something that you didn't, you ate on the plate that you were too happy with. You said it was pretty garbage. Uh, I know the string beans don't have no flavor. Yeah, and you put soy sauce on Yeah, it. I had to put soy sauce on the string beans to give it flavor. No flavor. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I would rate this a good 8 to 9 out of 10. Like, yes, it's it good is enough to where I'm going to go on Yelp yeah. and give them a review. Like, that's... Yeah. We just went to a different buffet, and I, I guess we'll go back and I guess we'll go back to that one and actually record that one. Yeah. Because the food was compared. There's no comparison between them. So, mm -hmm. um, so this is Hokkaido in Long Beach. We both give it a thumbs up. And you messing up that name. I'm that. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But it is comparable to but comparable to buffets that you would get in Vegas. Like you yes, always heard about all those great seafood buffets in Vegas, and we have when we go to them, we eat at them. We will be again very shortly. But I just wanted to do a video showing people, hey, there's a really good buffet you can get in Long Beach. It is reasonable. Um, we went for the lunch hour. It was what forty two dollars with drinks. Yep, forty two dollars for two people. For two people so with that's drinks. reasonable for all you can eat seafood buffet. They even have a you know you can buy a snow crab ten dollars. A pound, and that's cheaper than what it is in the grocery store sometimes. So yeah, especially when it's already cooked. That I mean, that's a win-win <laughs> situation right there, especially in my family. But um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop it here again. Be on the lookout. We will be doing more reviews like this, showing you things that you can do in the Port City of Long Beach and in Los Angeles. So. If you're coming in ahead of time, then you do need to, you know, have somewhere to take your family, do something nice. If you're spending a day or two before or after your cruising, it's not just about cruising, we're about affordable travel. And since we are native to the area, who better to show you how to get around and go to the native spots than us? Than the people that's there. Right. So that's what we'll be doing. Bye for now. So, goodbye.